Hello everyone and welcome. Thank you for joining us. Everyone is always welcome here. Today we are going to take a look at the month of November for the sign of Aries. If you enjoy the message and would like future videos, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you would like a chance at a free personal reading, um, I am doing a drawing at the end of the month for three free personal readings. All you have to do is comment your astrological sign below to get entered into the drawing. So let's get started here, Aries. Let's get started. We'll start with this good tarot. Go into the original tarot spread, followed by fairy, psychic, and then some guidance cards. So let's see here, Aries. Let's see what what we can see. Ace of Air, Emperor, Ace of Water, and Seven of Air. So, Aries, I'm just speaking what's on my mind here, and what I feel like this is, is two different energies. I feel like this is one energy and this is another energy, and the reason why I say that is because they're conflicting. Um, over here we have conformity, we have rule, we have order, we have law, the law of karma, victory. Over here, we have nonconformity. We have unconditional love, no matter what. Um, the seven of air also, it symbolizes living life on one's own terms. Okay. I really get the sense here that... Um, even though these are beautiful cards, the Ace of Airs, Destiny, Fate, Law of Karma, powerful transformations happening. Um, the Emperor symbolizes authority, rule, order. Um, people doing exactly what they need to be doing for the right reasons. Okay. And then over here, we have Ace of Water which symbolizes unconditional love, overflowing abundance, and then seven of airs, independence, nonconformity, living on one's own terms. So even though I feel like this, this connection is very faded, um, you guys have been brought together for a reason. I feel like that reason is to teach each other lessons, and that is why they say opposites attract. Um, is because they bring in that balance. It's like the yin and yang energy. Okay? If you have a person who is, you know, this two people come together and they're the same, they might come together for a little bit and everything will be good and normal. But eventually there's going to need to be that balance. And that balance is what is, even though it's conflicting energy, it's also balanced energy, right? So let's see, let's see what the tarot has to say about this. And I'm going to be using the Oceanic Tarot for these readings. I've created myself a little bit bigger space to do the readings on. So, I have all my cards out, and I haven't actually used this deck since I started the channel, which hasn't quite been a year, almost, it'll be a year in February. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. So, Aries. Let's see what we can see about this conflicting energy that's coming up. This very faded partnership. Let's 
three aces. If we were in Vegas, we would have won. So what do we have here? Your inner focus is your money, your pentacles, your coins. Your outer focus is self-reflection, self-healing, um, healing, the judgment card also symbolizes um, learning the karmic lessons, releasing those karmic ties. What I see here, Aries, okay, I'm just going to get down right down to it. I feel like there's an ending that's going to happen. This ending is going to be very dramatic. It's going to be um, very consuming, whether it's with your finances, with your time, this needs to end. This, ha this situation has to um, not so much this partnership. You guys very well are fated of soulmate connection. But I feel like the way that you guys are interacting with each other isn't, isn't okay, okay? I feel like it's very toxic. I feel like it's very back and forth. There's a lot of battling, a lot of competition. And I feel like it's really hindering the success of your business or your finances um, it's causing a lot of delays now I'm, I'm shuffling the fairy tarot so we can get some more information out here but I really feel like um, this decade I don't know if you've realized this, Aries, but this decade is coming to an end. We have two more months left. And then we're starting a new decade. Okay. The question here is, do you really want to bring this energy into the next decade? Start the next decade off with that. that type of energy take a review if you need to of what's gone on in this situation I really feel like there is a lot of growth that's going on here on both parts but I feel like Being indecisive about how to move forward in this is resisting the change. Don't be deterred by the challenges. Um, there's a need to change your perspective on the way that you're thinking about this person, place, or thing. But I really feel like it's changing your perspective on this relationship. So, for some reason I'm called to be explaining this here, Aries, but a soulmate connection, in my mind, 
is a person who's brought into your life to bring in lessons that you wouldn't have learned any other way. And then we have a twin flame connection, which is like the person who is meant to be in your life for lifetimes, eternity. It's like that ultimate love connection. Now, I personally feel we have multiple soulmate connections. We have soul ties with let's call it soul ties. We have soul ties with many different people, many different partners, okay? Where we have these ties so we can learn these lessons from these people or within these relationships to move forward to our actual twin flame soulmate, but I consider it a twin flame connection, okay? I feel like you thought this was the one, okay, and the the sucky part about the whole twin flame soulmate soul tie connection scenario is they all can feel very similar. The only difference is the ending. So changing your perspective, okay, and not being so focused on the connection. Okay, because I feel like that's where a lot of people get hung up is their focus. They're focusing their attention on the connection and there's a need to focus the attention inward. Self-reflection, self-healing, self-manifestation. You have the tools that you need within yourself to get through this. Trust your intuition. It's also going to be important to communicate clearly and accurately, especially with the retrograde taking up most of this month. I understand that walking away from this connection is very burdening. It's heavy weight on your shoulders. Um, don't back down from what you believe is right. What you envision for yourself. I do feel like this is a deep connection. For some of you, this very well could be a twin flame connection. For others, it's just a soul tie. But for the majority of you, I feel like there's going to be a resolution to this problem through forgiveness. This relationship can be healed through forgiveness. But this change and this ending needed to happen for this reconciliation to come in. It's a process. I never said it was an easy one. But I will say that it is worth it. So get ready. Hold on. Aries, um, don't focus on the connection. Focus on self and the lessons that need to be learned. A perceived ending or tower moment, I'll call it, with a soulmate is the worst because we still have this tie. We still feel this tie to this person, but we're irritated with them. We don't want to talk to them. We don't want to see them. Maybe we're, we blocked them, changed our number, some crazy stuff. But 
but we still feel this connection, this need. There may be some information that comes out that's going to be very hurtful. But I feel like this information needed to be heard for this ending to happen because this change wouldn't have come without this ending. This change isn't going to come without the ending. However it resonates for your situation, whatever part of the timeline you're on. Embrace the change. Focus on the lessons that need to be learned. Okay, what can you learn from this? Maybe how to react differently. How to communicate clearly. More accurately. I feel like you know what, what caused this ending. Now it's just time to focus on how you could have reacted differently in this situation. going to take a lot of forgiveness. It's going to be a process. Forgiveness on both parts because I feel like both parts had a part to play in this. So take a review, okay? Take a review of this relationship. Um, take a review of the past 10 years. What's gone on in this partnership, the positive aspects and the negative, reminisce, look at pictures, all that fun stuff, and then really focus in on the negative and what lessons needed to be learned in all those situations. Look to heal any unbalanced situations. Like I said, we're coming into the next decade. So do we really want to bring this energy with us? Not me. So, Aries, I get the sense there's big changes with your home, um, in your household, Maybe you're moving because uh, the Six of Winter is also relocating. There's no need to rush things. Everything is happening for a reason, okay? This ending is making way for new beginnings, okay? Just breathe. Out with the old. In with the new and if this person is meant truly meant to be in your life like a true twin flame soulmate connection they will so just go with the flow focus on what's best for Aries focus on the healing process don't focus on this person in this connection focus on yourself Aries so that is the message that I have for you. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Thank you for liking and subscribing. If you want to get in on the personal reading, drawing, go ahead and comment your astrological sign below. Thank you guys again so much, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.